Hey Internet, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Today we get to play for you the very first V-Class Taylor Grand Concert Guitar that we have received so far. Now, if you've watched our channel for any amount of time, you've probably seen us do a lot of videos on the V-Class bracing. Taylor introduced that last year at the Winter NAMM show of 2018 in their Grand Auditorium guitars. Since then, we've seen it expand to an entirely new body shape in the Grand Pacific guitars, uh, which we have shot here. Um, and at NAMM of uh, 2019, here the winter, just a few weeks back, uh, they introduced the new line of Grand Concert guitars to receive the V-Class bracing. Uh, just a quick, uh, Kind of recap if you haven't uh, been watching or you're not too familiar with what V-bracing is. Uh, Andy Powers has designed a new bracing pattern that um, moves away from X-bracing, which has braced most steel string guitars uh, pretty much since they've started uh, over at Martin, um, to a V pattern. So instead of having X-bracing going across here with some additional bracing to support the top, there's two primary V, uh, two primary braces that make a V on either side of the sound uh, hole down here to the end block uh, framing the bridge plate. There's some smaller braces off to the side. What it allows you to do is have uh, a lot of stiffness down the middle, a lot of strength there, which is going to increase the sustain and the structural rigidity of the guitar. Basically, the guitar is stronger in parallel with the strings. There's not a belly down here beneath the bridge. Um, everything's very, very taut. But the sides, since the bracing is here and strong, are uh, allowed to move more freely. So the idea here is striking a good balance between the sustain that you want and the volume that you want and being able to control them together rather than one or the other, which has been one of the difficulties that uh, Andy had with X bracing. Uh, usually if you want more volume, you're going to sacrifice sustain by making the top more flexible. If you want more sustain, you're going to sacrifice volume and tone by making the top too rigid. Uh, so this allows you to marry those and really control them. It has another byproduct of giving you better intonation uh, through the bracing on the top. Because the top is moving in a more uniform fashion, kind of rocking like this then all over the place, the overtones that you get um, are based upon the fundamental rather than some kind of off note here uh, somewhere you know, off in the ether. Uh, so the guitar is resonating based upon the note that you're playing. Um, and you're going to find that that helps your intonation up and down the neck. Notes are pure, crystalline, and so forth. Um, so it's being adapted to all of the different body shapes. It's been adapted to the grand concerts, and it works very, very well here. So this is actually kind of interesting. I'm going to pull back the curtain a little bit and, and give you guys some insight. Before we shot this video, right before this, I shot another video, which may or may not be up at this point, but you should go watch, of a Martin uh, D28 Modern uh, Deluxe Dreadnought. And these are extremely different guitars. They're both spruce and rosewood, but this is a small grand concert guitar, and that's a big Dreadnought. And that Dreadnought's full of volume, right? Just, it's... We use words like cannon, which is probably overused, but it's a very well-projecting guitar, a lot of volume, a lot of overtones, things like that. This is a decidedly different guitar. And as you watch the playthrough on this guitar, as you watch many of ours, I use the same songs, uh, and a lot of you guys really appreciate that, and the reason is to illustrate what the guitars do. On some of those songs that I've come up with, um, you know, they a guitar that does really well with flat picking or, or strumming is going to excel on that piece and maybe not do as well on something that's finger picked. Uh, a smaller guitar like this is probably not going to do as well on one of those flat picked or strummed songs, but it's going to excel when finger picked. Um, and so that's the idea behind that. And this guitar uh, really, for me, highlighted that getting to switch from one to the other. This is a, a beautiful Grand Concert 12 fret deluxe model. So, you know, it's rosewood, it's spruce, it's got this beautiful bevel. It's got all of the, the ornamentation and specifications that we've known from this model from Taylor, but now with the V-Class bracing. So it's a short scale, 24 and, and uh, 3 quarters or 7 eighths, something to that effect. Um, it's uh, got the, the bridge moved down on the soundboard because it's a 12 fret. So that's going to give you a more played in open sound uh, from the get go. Beautiful maple binding, uh, beautiful rosette, rosewood trim, uh, purfling inlaid there. This rounded off corner that's really comfortable. Um, ebony fingerboard and bridge with this element inlay, slotted headstock. It's a beautiful guitar, but it's also this small, like, intimate guitar. It wants 
you to kind of coddle it, to, to hug it, you know, and it's, it's really at home there. And that's the kind of playing that it desires. It wants you to coax certain sounds out of it, and it will, re it will reward you in spades with nuanced playing. So this is not the guitar to take a flat pick to and just go to town. Um, and you'll see that when we do the review of this. It doesn't, it, it will do it, but there's a, lot, uh, there's a lot less tension in these strings, and the top is only gonna vibrate so much. It's only gonna give you so much doing that, but if you then change your tactic and you come with a soft touch and you want to play dynamically, you don't have to put a lot into it, and it's gonna reward you through that playing. So you know that's the beauty of having different guitars, different tone woods, different body shapes, different bracing patterns. You're going to get different things out of the guitars, and one of those things is going to be well suited to your playing. So, Take a look at this uh, run through I'm gonna do for you and you'll see hopefully what I mean. Thank you. 
So there you have it. It's new for 2019. This is a Taylor 812 CE 12 fret deluxe model with the new V-Class bracing. The V-Class bracing is introduced in the Grand Concert series uh, or body shape first through the 300 series, the 500 series, the 800, and the 800 deluxe models. So be on the lookout for us to be reviewing more of the Grand Concerts with the new V-bracing pattern. We'll be talking about the tone woods, um, the, the, the necks, whether it's a 12 fret or 14 fret, and how all of that's going to play into the perfect guitar for you. I don't want you to just give us a call and, and, and buy a guitar or, or anyone a call. You know, if you work with another dealer but benefit from these videos, that's great. I don't want you to just get any guitar. I want you to get the right guitar. So hopefully these are educational, but if you have more questions, go to our website, alamomusic.com. You can take a look at all the specs there, all of the, uh, the photos of the guitars. You can also message us through the website, email us, call us, or just come in, and we'll help you find the right instrument. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks so much for watching our videos. If you enjoy what we're putting out, help support this channel uh, by going uh, down below and purchasing one of the t-shirts we've made for you. Uh, rock your support for one of the oldest music stores in Texas and the country and your love of guitar. Just purchase below, help support our videos, and go to our website, alamomusic.com, for more goodies that you can get. Thanks. Mm -hmm.